Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to share three activities for teaching students how to order numbers. Now, towards the beginning of the year, we focus a lot on number sense in kindergarten, first and second grade. Now, obviously the numbers that we are kind of focusing on might be a little bit different. In kindergarten, you're really focusing on one through 10 right now. First grade, we're probably covering one through 20. And in second grade, we're definitely going up to 100 because eventually we're going to move into those thousands. But across all three grade levels, ordering numbers is an important part of number sense that we teach because it really gets students thinking about each number's value and how it compares to other numbers. So if you're looking for some ordering numbers activities or some math centers, then I have three I think you're really going to like. And I even have a freebie for you at the end of this video. So let's Let's get started, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and let's go. Activity number one for ordering numbers is called Number Line Remake. And while the name of that might sound pretty self-explanatory, where students are going to take numbers and they're going to remake a number line to put them in order, I have a little twist on it that I think you're going to like. Here is a picture right here of Number Line Remake, and you can see the green there. That is the Number Line Remake part. And what you might see that's different about this type of puzzle is that the numbers aren't just digits. It doesn't just have the digit one through 20. Instead, each number is shown in a different way. We have pictures, we have the digit, we have the number word, we have tally marks, and we have numbers shown in a 10 frame. Now, I really enjoy this because towards the beginning of the year in kindergarten and first grade, we are really focusing on different ways to show numbers so students can kind of recognize and understand what that number really means. So they might see it in tally marks, they might see a number word, they might see, you know, fingers up, all of those are different ways to represent the same number. Now, before you would do a number sense activity like this one, let me show that picture again. You see here in the yellow, that is a number sense puzzle. Um, that might be a precursor activity that you would do. And above it, you see button jars, which is a very common uh, math game that I have shared many times here on my channel, just to get students to understand one-to-one -one correspondence. So both of those types of activities would be something you might do before number line remake. But once your students start to recognize those numbers in different ways, I definitely have them cut up those little puzzle pieces so they can rearrange that number line in order. All of the activities that were in that picture are actually included in my number sense unit on TPT. That looks like this, and I will link it in the description in case you want to check it out. Activity number two for ordering numbers is called Roll, Write, and Reorder. Now, this is a very simple print and play game that I have in my SJT Math Club, and I actually have a few different sheets for it. I have three. So you can play this with one die, you can play it with two dice, or you can play it with three dice. So the sums will either be one through six, or not some, but that's just the number, one through six, or the sums will go up to 12 or 18, depending on the number of dice that you use, which makes it a little differentiated for your students. Now, here's an example of the board using two dice. It looks like this, and the directions are very simple. So let me actually just show you how to play. So here's how you play roll, write, and reorder. Uh, you can probably tell with many of my games, I like the directions to be the title of the game. Makes it nice and simple. So step one is you roll two dice and find the sum. So we have 12. Students will simply count that up and they will write the sum here. They will do that all of these times. We have six, seven, eight. They will do it until they fill up this whole top row. Five. And students can totally play this by themselves, which I like too, especially during, you know, social distancing time. We have another 10. Okay. Now what students will have to do is they can put the dice away and they will put the orders in number from least to greatest. And anytime they have a repeat number like these tens, they'll just go next to each other. So I like to tell them to cross it out so they are sure they got each one. Six, eight, 10, 10, 11, and 12. And it is as simple as that. 
Now I love this because students are rolling the dice, like I said, they have to add and find the sum. If this, if you're playing it with kindergarten, you might only use the one die. It would be a different sheet up here with one die and it would just be numbers one through six. And then they simply have to put the numbers in order too. So there are a few different math skills that they're actually practicing. As you can see, that game is super simple to play. And because it is no prep, all you have to do is literally print out that sheet. You could easily throw that in a math center and it is differentiated because of the three different options. Now I decided to go ahead and make this game a freebie for you. So those of you in the SJT Math Club, it is already in there in your number sense file. But for everybody else that doesn't have access to that, go ahead and look in the description below. You can grab that PDF. It'll have all three versions so you can play this with your students in the upcoming weeks. And ordering numbers activity number three is actually called order up. And this is a very simple one where all you're gonna need are a bunch of different number cards. So this is easy to differentiate based on the number cards you choose to use. So again, in kindergarten, you might use the numbers one through 10 and then up it to 20. I'm going to show you how to play this game using my cards that I have in my numbers to 120 unit. That looks like this. And I made this for first grade specifically because we really focus on numbers one through 120. So there's little blue number cards in there for each of those numbers. And let me just show you how this game works. So this is how you play order up. Here I printed out numbers from my 120 unit. These are the numbers from 20 to 40. So I like to use about 20 numbers. You can use even more if you would like, and they don't necessarily need to be in exact order. You could completely randomize them as well. And it's pretty simple. Students will shuffle up their cards. You could totally do this on index cards. You could even have students make the cards themselves. That would add another layer to it. That would be great. So they could make it themselves, write all the, write all the numbers, and then cut out the cards to use. Now you can either have students put them in a pile or put them in a bag to pick from, but all they're going to do is take turns. They will say the number 33. So they're, you know, recognizing numbers and one student will put it down. Then the next student will pick up 27 and they have to decide, is it going before or after 33? It goes before. Next number, 23, 24. So students just take turns and they are simply trying to order up these numbers. They're putting them in order from least to greatest. Now what I've even had students do is after a while, I will have all the numbers from one to 120 in a bag, and this will be like a longer math centers, math center, and students will continue taking turns and they'll actually recreate an entire 120 chart. So they'll do that by, you know, choosing a card, again, reading it aloud. And if they were gonna go ahead and make a 120 chart, this might be down here on the next row depending on how they would do that. But if you're just going in order, this one would go over here. It's as simple as that. So obviously if you were in second grade, you could make those numbers whatever you wanted. And you of course would not need number cards one through 1000. You could throw in some random cards or whatever your students are specifically working on at that time, but they would simply do the same thing. They'd pull a card, order it and see where it has to go. So there you have three easy games for getting your students to practice ordering numbers on a regular consistent basis. All three of those games would be great either independently in a math center or to use as guided practice after you've done a lesson reviewing how to order numbers. Students could then partner up and go do any of those activities. Both my regular number sense unit and my numbers to 120 unit are linked in the description. And don't forget to grab that freebie that I have for you, the print and play game that I think you will enjoy. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up so I know. And if you have any other tried and true games or activities for ordering numbers, drop it in the comments below. Let us other teachers see what games they are and see if we can use them in our own classroom. Remember, I have a ton of other math activities in a playlist that looks like this. So you can head over to that playlist, check out the titles, see if there's anything else you are teaching in the upcoming weeks that you may wanna get some ideas for using in your classroom. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.